Welcome back to Northwest City Politics in the Know with Juanita. We're glad to welcome you to our show again this evening. We're always happy for people like you, people who are interested in what's happening in our cities and what's happening in the surrounding cities. It's important for good government that there be a good flow of information back and forth with the mayors and the city council people and the residents and the staff. We encourage you, if we're talking about your city tonight, because we cover the nine cities in CCX's viewing area, to take down the phone number and the email of our guests. So if there's any of the issues that we talk about tonight that really concern you, you can be in touch with them and let them know how you feel. We're very happy tonight to welcome Dwayne Poppy, the mayor of Osseo. Thank you. We've glad had to be you, here. We've had you on a number of times, and we're yep. glad to have you back. Well, thank you. And I'll have you introduce yourself to our wider audience, because I'm sure that people in Osseo know quite a bit about you by now, right? Yeah. But give a little idea about your background in Osseo. Uh, well, in my, uh, this year it'll be uh, 20 years now oh. that uh, my wife and I and family have lived in Osseo. Uh, just starting my fourth term as mayor, it was three years uh -huh. on the council before that, so it's nine years I've been Great. involved with the city. So, and I've seen a number of changes throughout that uh, history, so we continue to try to move the city forward. And, and uh, kind of keep uh, putting in the best situ best light that we can. Oh, right, definitely. And like I was saying to you earlier when we were talking, Osseo has the ambiance that all of the cities want to try get, a small town that's friendly and... Yeah, we always joke, I mean, we have what every every community tries to build right. In, right. today, that, um, you know, it's that small, small town feel, right. and that hometown charm that you know, it's just tough to replicate. And that's one thing I think that's a big draw for all the people, you know, that end up coming to Osseo is just for that reason itself. Oh, I would think so. Now you have an activity that you have done, in fact, I was gonna ask you how many years, you have movies in the park and music in the park. That's all, it's one of the uh, the big draws of the this, yes, of this right. summer. It's I mean, a it's lot just, of people. It's just always great to, you know, have mm -hmm. that activities. and and. and he, and he talks to some people, and there's people, you know, obviously from outside of oh, Osseo. Oh, right, yeah, more than just drive Osseo, in, right. And, into it, because, I mean, it's it's that, you know, again, that hometown feel where right. you just pull up your blanket and, you know, sit amongst your neighbors and, you know, go to the the store and pick up some snacks. And this year we're actually going to be uh, looking at having, you know, a food truck there oh, as well. Oh, yeah, those are getting to be very popular. Yeah, <clears throat> so, I mean, to be able to have people, and then we have... Uh, various groups, you know, whether it be the churches or things that come and, you know, they'll do desserts and, right. you know, kind of for uh, donations to help them raise for something. And, you know, obviously we have the farmer's market once that starts oh, in July. Right, right. You know, that's on Tuesday as well. So some people will pick up things there and then just camp out in the park yep. and wait for the movie or the music to start. Do you know what some of the one, some of the groups that'll be on or the movies that'll be on this summer? Uh, no, I don't remember okay. the Okay, but that's, the full all, list that's of all on the website. Yep, that, public, that list came out, and one of the last ones that we saw for uh, um, August, we had a little contest, uh -huh. and we put it out there to ah. vote you know, between the, the uh, options that right, you wanted. Right. So I never heard the uh, so, final. So people had choices yep, of what yep. they were going to come and then, up I mean, summer. we have you know, bands there. Um, we've got you know, the teddy bear band. Oh, you know, right. I mean, that's for the kids. You've got, you know. Uh, kind of rock and roll you've uh -huh. got you know strings you've got you know we have the the Minnesota Raptor Center again you ah. know with the birds oh, so, that's, I mean it's that's a fun that's interesting. yeah so I mean it's a whole lot of different activities yeah. I mean just kind of center around kids and you know Tuesday it's you it seems to be a good night that you know people aren't going somewhere and right. usually you know people don't have sports and, and we get a get a big turnout and I've got that the first one event will be on June 11th Yep. And that it's generally always starts at seven, I believe. Yep. Yep. <coughs> so people can mark that on their calendars and then start coming. Yep. Yep. And we have the whole list published. I just saw on the uh, website. Now, how are these events funded? Uh, through donations. Okay. Uh, you know, various organizations, community organizations, and businesses, you know, donate money to help fund that. And, you know, the Lions, you know, right. do a lot of work with that as well. The, all of the activities are organized by people not 
in City Hall, right? Yeah, no, and we, you know, we have Karen our, is our, you know, one of our people, and I mean, she's kind of who the knows what everything's going, right? Yeah, so she kind of quarterbacks with Nancy. Right. The two of them kind of direct the the kind of legions of volunteers uh -huh. that it takes to pull off some of these events. And I mean, that's one great thing is, you know, with an Osseo is, I mean, we just have a really great pool of people that, you know, pitch in, ah. lend a hand, you know, whenever they need it. I mean, like putting the lights up and down Central uh -huh. Avenue in the winter. I mean, that's all donated people's uh -huh. time that come up and want to help out, you know, taking them down, same thing, you know, doing, you know, picking weeds in the flower beds, you know, which people donate their time right, to do that. Right. Just, they want, you know, Osseo to, you know, continue to, you know, keep, be beautiful. And this is a good opportunity for somebody who wants to try volunteering mm -hmm. because there can be long-term things that could plug into or one-night things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, last year we did the uh, the uh, Night Unite mm -hmm. in, in town that uh, oh. it was a, we did a community basically party right right oh. on Boardboom Park and oh, we had that's bands kind of and fun. bounce houses and all the equipment yeah. and food and, you know, the police. And, I mean, it was fire and but everyone was together and it was just a hundred percent pulled off, you know, you know, with the volunteers that stepped up and obviously, you know, with the city staff, they, right. you know, put a lot of work in as well. Oh, but definitely. I mean, it was, again, the legions of volunteers mm -hmm. that, you know, made that successful. I mean, uh, mini dazzle, I mean, they right. can oh yeah, you have lines that or, I mean, you can keep going down yeah. and it's just all volunteer. I mean, that, I mean, that which, you know, helps make the community great. Right. So we'll encourage any of you watching us tonight from Osseo that think about that because there's several opportunities during the year and they could always call <coughs> City Hall to see who needs somebody mm -hmm. at this particular time and volunteer your services. Mm -hmm. It's good for your city and good for you too. Yeah. <laughs> now, how many years has that been taking place? The Movies and music in the park. So, I mean, she's 17. Okay. You know, so I mean. At least that long, yeah, if not I mean, more. Yeah, if not I more. Because it's, it's, it's been a long term thing. Yeah. And sometimes cities start something and they might start off not with as many people as you want, but if you keep them going. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the key. And, you know, have, having quality content and. Right. And, and that quality experience, especially mm -hmm. from a family. And that's what keeps people coming back. Right. So you've got a lot of involvement in, the, in that yeah. summer activities, yeah. right? Now, you've got something coming up that's interesting. Intermark or Marque? Intermark. Intermark. Intermark Vintage Foreign Car Show, which kind of ties in with that pr group that you said was had come to your city, right? Yep. That, that yep. fixes cars. And um, th when will that show be held? Uh, the, uh, Saturday, May 11th. Okay, people can and, yeah. put that on their calendar. Yeah, and, and again, that's another one of those great community activities. And, uh -huh. um, you know, they come in and bring out of the cars and they park them up and down Central Avenue. And, and what's really unique about that, it's all uh, vintage foreign auto cars. Yeah. And everybody you talk to, <clears throat> you know, that are there really want to talk about their cars and right. tell you about it. And I mean, I mean, and they, they love engaging with uh -huh. the people. So I think that's one thing. It's, you know, it's not stand behind the ropes and just oh, look at right, them. I mean, right. people come You're up and learning they, about it. Yeah, and you look in the cars and you talk to the people mm -hmm. and, and you ask questions and it's, you know, it's very engaging. And obviously, you know, a lot of the stores will have sidewalk sales oh, going right, on. We right. have, you know, a craft fair in the park. So we have that going on. If you know, people want to come and some people want to look at cars and some people don't want right. to look at cars. Yeah, you've got two go places. To, yeah, <laughs> you can go up and down and shop. You can go, you know, the, the craft fair. And then also we do a citywide garage sale. Ah. And then we publish a map for that. So people get into town, you can see where you're at and see who uh, has a garage sale and go check those out as well. So a lot of different activities. Again, trying to appeal to the broadest right. amount of people. Again, just drawing more people into the city. Yeah, I hadn't heard of citywide garage sales. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we ask that everybody during that weekend, if you're having a, right. a sale, let City Hall know so we can get the map published. And then we, right. you know, it's at Dean's. It's kind of scattered all around yeah. the, the maps. Yeah, all, is. And all the Obviously, city, it'll right. be online, too. You can print it off before oh, you come, but yeah, we'll, have right. them, we'll have them before, uh, before you get there. So the, uh, that's a, a, an event that pull, call, pulls in a lot of people. How many years have you been doing that one? Let's see, that one's probably, 
probably six, seven years, okay. probably. You know, again, that one just keeps expanding. Right. You know, the number of cars, and you know, you talk to the organizers, and they say, yeah, I mean, you get more and more requests for people, and uh -huh. we keep trying to expand, you know, <laughs> but yet keep everyone together. Right, and, right. Yeah, so well, I mean, and you've got a nice main street to get them all lined up yeah. so that people can easily get from one to the other. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's another one of those just just fun days to be yeah. in town. You can just kind of wander around. Now, is Intermark yep. an organized group? Yeah, okay. yeah, they, they do different. I thought we better give them a little credit. Yeah, yeah no, they do different shows all around, uh -huh. you know. So, I mean, they're really the quarterback with, their, the, with the car aspect uh -huh. of that. They do all of that part yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, with the registrations and, you know, directing and, you yeah. know, positioning. And, you know, so they just coordinate with the city staff and the, other volunteers to pull it all off. So uh, lots of summer activities coming up, yep. or, or starting in the spring, right? Yep. From May and for May yep. and forward. Yep. So that that leads right into the summer recreation programs that <coughs> Osseo has available for people. Now you have a number of sports groups for kids. What sports can people find activities to sign their kids up for? Yeah, there's a there's a number of activities. Um, you know, that was one of the things is, as we talked, we had a lot of activities at the community center uh -huh. for seniors. We said, you know, we're, we're kind of missing this whole group of uh -huh. of people, and, and right. it's because you know not having a school there or you know kind of um, neighborhood teams. Oh right. You know, as you uh, kind of always had as a youth. You know, so now I mean that was one thing that you know we felt like we're really missing is to oh, be able sure. to get the neighborhoods together and, and you know play ball and get the people out of their houses uh -huh. and, and again it's just it's just building that fabric of the community oh, that right. everybody kind of looks out for each other mm -hmm. and knows whose kids are whose and you know and, and then so it's really kind of geared towards you know the, the smaller kids because okay. I mean as you get older I mean there's you know, because everything we do is, you know, with Osseo Maple Grove are together. So, I okay. mean. Okay. Oh, so the, all those activities yeah, are available yeah, too. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, you can do all of those. So, the ones that we have in, in Osseo are, are, you know, you've got football, you've got soccer, you've got t-ball, you've got, you know, a lot of, a lot of, in their short little, you know, classes uh -huh. that, you know, and they're kind of half day kind of a right. thing that gets people out of the house, get them running around, getting them playing together. Uh -huh. Be able to give an opportunity for you know kids that are home in the summer something oh, to right, do rather than right. sit there and play video games. Yeah, <laughs> right. Get them actively yeah, involved in yeah. something out of doors, right? And now, how do people register for these? Uh, that was groups? all online. Okay. You know, and uh, on, they, you know registrations they've said have just been going really well. Is it on your website or its own website? Uh, yeah, I think there's a link from ours. Oh, okay, to, uh, so go to yeah. Osseo City Hall website yeah. and they can link over if, yeah. if they hadn't thought about doing that because yeah. the registration period is... It's got to be pretty close. Got to right? be pretty close yeah, to being I think completed, it's almost, yeah. right. Yeah. So people can look to see yeah. what might be still left. And there's a couple of sessions, uh -huh. you know, so I mean you can sign up for the different like oh, June sure. and July, you know, huh. so there's two different times. And then other programs that might be available to other age groups? You mentioned senior activities. Yeah, you know, we have yoga, obviously, that's open for everyone. Uh -huh. And then we have, uh, we have kind of a, you know, chair exercises. Oh, where you sit right. in the chair and do your weights and leg raises and things like uh -huh. that. You know, those are, those are in the community center as well. You know, so again, it just, <clears throat> and, you know, we, we took, and then every year um, we get an update on, you know, they try to figure out where people come from, and oh, I mean, right. it's it's just not people in Osseo. You uh -huh. know, I mean, it's a it's interesting how far some people come oh, just right. for that opportunity to, you know, partake. And you know, it's a social time for uh -huh. people, and then a lot of people then end up going down and having lunch, or oh, yeah. you know, just you meet kind of, people, as yeah, well or shopping, as, or you know, right. doing something downtown. So, and so these are held in your parks and at your community yep. center. Yep. Yeah, both locations. Yeah. You know, the youth programs are all down at Sipes Park, and then, you know, the senior activities uh -huh. are all in the community center. So lots of good activities that people can <coughs> check your website for. Mm -hmm. yep. And sign up soon, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Getting to that point, yep. right. Yep. Now, you have a summer trolley program. Yep. That, that's kind of interesting. I haven't heard of any <coughs> other cities doing that. Yeah, the Osseo Trolley. Uh, that was uh, a donation 
by the Osseo Business Association, Business Association a number of years ago. And uh -huh. uh, we run that uh, 9 to 2, Monday through Thursday. And it just, anybody who needs a ride anywhere, we just, you know, we, they have a cell phone. We have different volunteers. Right. Again, that staff, the, the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And people call and they pick them up and drive more than they need to go. And they pick them up when they need a ride home. You know, it's just another way for, you know, move people around. Because, oh, I mean, right? we do have, you know, that older population oh, that, you definitely. know, is not driving and, you know, don't feel comfortable taking a taxi or right. Uber or, you know, this or that. Or, and they just, so much easier to just jump in a cart and, you know, basically it's a big golf cart. And yeah, it's got two, three yeah. of the seats in yeah. it, right? And then you just drop you off at, you know, the hair salon, the yeah. grocery store, the, you know, candy shop, mm -hmm. the, you know, wherever you want to go, antique store and let you shop and go home. And that's a whole volunteer measure, Correct. right? Yeah. Yeah, all the, all the uh, drivers are volunteers. So that program begins. Uh, usually that, you know, starts in you know June. Usually yeah, when it gets a little warmer. Yeah, as the weather gets warm enough to. Yeah, you know, it does have sides on it, but yeah. I mean, it still gets a little, little tough. So it's usually, you know, June through August. Okay. Yeah, that's a good uh, benefit for people in your community that yeah. that don't have an easy way of getting transported. Yeah, and. and, and you know, these past number of years, it's it's all the donations have been from uh, Evans Norby Funeral Home. Ah, so oh, that's they, very good. So they've just made a, a generous donation ah. to kind of fund that whole program and the maintenance and, you know, kind of wear and tear on the vehicle. So right. So appreciate, again, just another great business. Oh, right. That and helps. And making donations. Kind of everybody pulling together. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've got a phone number that I'll put up because for information or to schedule rides, I've got a phone number for people, 763-257-3142. Yep. And I'll put that up on the screen so okay. people can copy that down if they're kind yep. of thinking, this sounds like it might be a good program yeah. for me. And I mean, you know, it has to stay inside the city limits. Right. So it can't right. go outside the city Within limits. Within Osseo. Yes, exactly. You know, that was part of the rules of the road. Oh, <laughs> right. That, that's fair. Yep. And then you've got <coughs> some um, retirees. First, maybe you can tell us about your long go. Your I think it was like twenty plus years for your fire chief who just retired. Yep, he, he, he was. He's been. He's been the. He's been in the fire department for well over twenty years, and he's been the chief for. Oh, it's got to be six, seven, seven years. Oh, you've been involved a long time. Yeah. So. And I his mean, name, I don't know. Pat how to McGrain. Per, McGrain. I wasn't yep. sure of him. I mean, he's done a great name. job with the fire department, uh -huh. and uh, I mean, I just really appreciate all of his service mm -hmm. to the city, and I mean, countless years of, you know, waking up in the middle of the winter night to jump right. in the truck and, you know, fight fires mm -hmm. or or medicals throughout town, so, yeah, I mean, it was he, he, just great for the department, and, uh, you know, brought it along and, you know, kind of passed the baton, and, uh -huh. you know, now we have Mike Fino as the chief, and he's doing you know, kind of picking it up and running right. with it. And, and he was an internal candidate, right? Correct. Right. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we've been, you know, we're, that's, you know, you know, we really thought it's key is really to promote people from within. Uh -huh. so, I mean, they understand the culture and the, oh, and the right. level of service expectation that, mm -hmm. you know, I think a lot of our residents receive that I think is above and beyond probably uh -huh. than what they, you know, would be required to do, but we, right. were, but we, Kind of require them to be that mm -hmm. way you know because it's just again it's the the better quality and experience you have you know the obviously you feel better right. about what's going on and it's a, an important service that the <coughs> city provides the community mm -hmm. yep and um what was i going to ask how many people do you have in your fire department are they all volunteers yeah, they're all technically okay. paid on call. Okay. Um, you know that uh, you know the, the the countless hours that they donate to that craft, and uh -huh. I mean for, you know, and that's one department that I mean it's just it's just passion for the job. For, yes. I mean for the hours they put in, for what the money they make uh -huh. at the end of the year, it's just you know amazing, and all the training and. Oh to, yes, you know, a that, lot of training yeah, they have that, to take. Yeah, I mean you know weekly meetings and and I mean it's just. You know, so my hat's off to, mm -hmm. you know, all the the people in the fire department. They just do such a great job. And, I mean, for, you know, for a small little volunteer fire department, I mean, we're under three minutes for 
response ah, anywhere in town. Ah, that's so, pretty, pretty darn yeah. good. So, I mean, it's to be able to get people to the station, right. jump in a truck and get to where be they need right to be. There, right. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. And then you had a uh, service coordinator, an Arlene Bennett? Yes, Arlene. Uh, tell us about... Again, she coordinated all the senior activities. Uh -huh. And again, an, another, she just, just, you know, sweetheart that has been there for years and years and years. And everybody, everybody knew her and, ah. you know, knew what to expect. And, you know, organizing all the games and the activities. Right. And, and you know, I think, you know, that... Uh, you know, way back in the day, you know, she was a waitress and huh. kind of just decided to take this up uh -huh. and that, uh, yeah, she just, she did a great job. And, you know, we, again, it's just another one of those just great people with an osseo that step up and, you know, just volunteer their time and, you know, their efforts to, you know, continue to provide things for, you know, all the residents of osseo. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that adds to the friendliness of your city when you have all these different parts and pieces that are working to make your city the best it can be. Yeah. Now, we mentioned volunteers a little while ago, and I see we have a little bit of time. Maybe we can talk about some of the volunteer opportunities in your city. Now, you have a number of commissions or committees. Yep. Yep. I mean, we're always looking for people. Um, planning, I, I think there's an open position. Okay. Uh, EDA is full, um, like, uh, heritage preservation. Okay. I mean, there's, there's a list of different committees and opportunities again, I mean, with, within, you know, the city itself or, you know, different various groups to help uh -huh. with the different events, you know, that we have that can, you know, volunteer for a weekend or, you know, mini dazzle, hand out hot chocolate oh, or right, cookies. Right. I mean. Lions are always looking for people for Lions Roar weekend just uh -huh. to do, you know, various activities there. I mean, that's a whole city lift to get that thing pulled right. off. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, Mini Dazzle from, you know, we always do hot dogs and uh -huh. cookies and hot cocoa. You know, the, the car, the, you know, the uh, national night out to be able to, you know, be on the registration tables oh, to, right. you know, right. directing people or, you know, just being ambassadors to help mm -hmm. people figure out where to go, you know, during those events. So, I mean, there's a whole lot of, you know, from, you know, helping weed the flower beds. Oh, right, right. You know, so, I mean, it's, what there's a whole litany of things. And I would, you know, check the website or, you know, just call up to City Hall uh -huh. and, uh, you know, coordinate up there and, and see what opportunities there are for, to get involved. Yeah, and people can always look at the minutes of the commissions Mm -hmm. on your website or they could go to actually visit those meetings yep. so we kind of encourage people to start looking there might not be an opening now but you can always put an application in right yeah so that when one might open up yeah, your yeah. name will be there yeah because I mean you know we always ask for you know volunteers and obviously right. you know some people move you know things happen and right. positions open up and be able to get in there and I mean then it by following and understanding it, so when, I mean, if you have an interest, then then you kind of know what's going on. Right. Once you get there. Oh, right. <clears throat> right. Rather than kind of coming cold or with a with a agenda uh -huh. that you're trying to drive once you get there. I mean, right. that's the that's you know the biggest thing is understand the directions, the goals, and you know the long range plans of some, oh, some things and right. You know, bringing a different perspective rather than you know, a different agenda. Yeah, it's good to have a lot of people looking at a particular issue mm -hmm. because then it, you see it from different angles. Yeah, and, and, that, and that's, you know, as we talk about all the time, it's, 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 we, we may not agree, uh -huh. but, uh, but you still need to listen and understand from their perspective. Oh, definitely. You know, because if we're standing on the opposite sides of the table, you see it differently than I see it. Sure. And, and it's being open and, and really because at the end of the day, the, the best decisions are always the ones that are made from varying perspectives and it's somewhere in the middle. Right. You know, you may want it one way or you may want it the other way. And I mean, for me is, is you know, at the council level is, is, is hearing other people's perspectives and, uh -huh. and, and their thoughts on a, on a topic. And you're like, hmm, I guess I haven't thought about that. Right. You know, so you kind of listen and, 
you know, you craft, you know, kind of something from that. And I think that's, you know, has, has been one of the, you know, kind of things that have went well, you know, on this number of years is, uh -huh. you know, we've had a council that, you know, we don't always agree, but yet, you know, you, you, you listen and right. understand, you know, other people's perspective and, you know, helps kind of shape, mm -hmm. you know, your better decision. I think on the whole, there's a lot of partisanship in our society today, yeah. but I don't think there's as much of it as at city council levels. There can yeah. be. Yeah. I'm not, I'm no, not saying yeah, that, it's, exactly. that it's not there, yeah. but, I, but there's less of it at that level, yeah, I think. Yeah, because I think, I think what the difference there is, I think at a city level, you're there to get things done, uh -huh. and it's not a career. That's true, right. You know, where, where you're protecting your livelihood when you mm. get beyond the city level. Uh, and you're trying to move yeah. up to and, different yeah. levels. You know, so, and, and that's, you know, ultimately, I, th you know, it's, it's whatever side you're on, always the best decision is somewhere in the middle. Right. But I think if you go, you know, on a, a broader scale, is that people aren't allowed to, to give on issues because then they'll see, they'll be perceived as weak. Ah. Uh. And, you know, and, and which, I mean, I, you know, it, it frustrates it's me. Instead of smart, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's you know, it frustrates me that I you're like, come on. I mean, let's. You know, I I always equate it to, you know, it's like World War One where uh -huh. everyone's in the trenches shooting at each other, but on Christmas Day they all came together, right, and right. sat and had Christmas dinner. Right. It's like right. people want to be somewhere in the middle where the yeah. best decisions are. They don't want to be, you know, in their trenches. Uh -huh. So, but, but I think what you mentioned too knowing that other people have listened to you is is the opposite side of you're doing the listening yeah. that they real you know the back and forth lets people know that okay you heard my points yeah and at the end of the day it's you, and know, you might come, not agree or you might yeah. agree yeah i mean just fundamentally people will not agree on all oh, things right right i mean that's part yeah. of life <laughs> yeah and, but it i mean also and then it it doesn't have to be personal right I mean, uh, that's can, probably one of the bigger things. Yeah, that, we can agree to disagree and let's move on. Yeah. You know, and it doesn't need to be personal shots mm -hmm. at each other. But. And and you can appreciate that when your city council can work along on that measure, right? Mm -hmm. Well, and you have to provide leadership to help that happen too. Yeah. yeah. But it, it, it is important. And throughout our cities, what I'm seeing is mostly things are going in a good yeah. direction. Yeah, good. Yeah, they're there to get things done. Right. Well, I want to thank you for coming, sharing yeah. your expertise and your time <laughs> with us. And we're glad that you've been with us. And we're looking forward to you joining us next week. Bye.